I think uh, it's amazing to see this advance in the intelligence uh, and the technology in the cars. Well, it's an amazing technology. Man. It's just a platform for drones uh, completely integrated to the car. It's something that I never saw before. This one seems to be very functional, the BYD uh, drive system. So we're waiting when it will be allowed in China and maybe in all over the world. Obviously, having only used it from the passenger seat for maybe 15 to 20 minutes, I can't give a complete review, but I can say that I was impressed with it so far. There was only one point in which the engineer had to intervene to drive the car, and as it turned out, the car was right and he was wrong. The Seal U, how it will be named in Europe, I also liked a lot because it, it's an SUV, it's comfortable, you can drive it quite boldly, it's, uh, you feel that it's not very heavy, so it is a, a good compromise between uh, comfort and also uh, sporty and uh, quick driving. I love Dolphin Mini, I would really like to have it in Mexico, I didn't know that it was so fast to actually do the slalom test drive. Bio 5, it's like an off-road car, if you can say that, and with this powerful engine and this for off-road, it will do a great job. I was very impressed by the young one, a U8, because of the tank turn, because it's a very big and very large car. In Copenhagen, we have very narrow, very small parking spaces, so you can use this, it's really usable.